Hello friends, welcome to this 35 minute soulful slow flow practice that is intended to nourish your mind and body and soul with the love that you deserve. So if you're ready, let us begin in a seated position along the center of our mats. Just taking a moment to ground ourselves in Sukhasana, easy pose. begin to feel your body on the mat, grounded and supported. Nothing for you to do but to be here right now. Just maybe allow yourself to add a little bit of gentle movements here with your neck, adding some semicircles if that feels good. For the body that we hold a lot of tension on, so it's nice to give it a little bit of attention here. I encourage everybody to keep their eyes closed as you continue on with this flow, just to deepen that connection and awareness within. And coming back to center after a few neck rolls. Take a moment, setting your own intention for this beautiful practice. To love yourself wherever you are right now in your journey. And to take this time to nourish your body and your soul with deep care and attention. We're going to continue with a breathing practice that is very grounding. Following the breath with your hands as you inhale. Palms are facing up, starting at the bottom of your spine. You're going to inhale, bring the hands up all the way to the chest center. And on your exhale, you're going to face the palms down to the earth and you're going to bring the hands back down towards your tailbone. And again, inhale, bring it up. Nice, calm and smooth movement all the way to your chest. Hold there for a split second before you exhale with your palms facing down, slow and mindful. Just trying to connect breath with your arm movements and bring about a deeper sense of presence. arm movements here. I'm furling my arms as I inhale, reaching them up over the top of my head as if I was drawing two circles in the opposite directions. I could round my back slightly. This could feel really good for you. So this is a, it's a feel good slow flow. Inhale, reach both arms up. This time on your exhale, bring that right hand to the right side. Reach towards the right with your left hand. Side stretch. Make sure that chest is open. Pressing into the mat with the right hand, not collapsing on the shoulder. This time, reach that top arm to the back of your head. And on your exhale, bring that left elbow towards that right knee. Inhale, reach the elbow back up. Exhale, bring it back, elbow to knee. So what we're doing here, we're just getting deeper into the intercostal muscles to the side body. And again, just adding that feel good movement flow of our breath. This practice is all about taking things slow, especially when life tends to go quite quickly for many of us. Inhale, reach your arm back up. Exhale, let's come back to center. Unfurl the arms one more time. Inhale, reach them up. And on your exhale, left hand grounds the left side. Reach the right hand towards the left. So you feel that nice stretch and opening on the right side of the Maybe your gaze comes up. Maybe it's just in front of you. Bring that right hand behind your neck. Inhale, open. And on your exhale, try and see if you can touch the right elbow towards that left knee. A couple times here. Inhale, open. 
exhale, touch elbow to knee. Nice and slow. Inhale, open, reach the right hand on back up. Exhale, coming back to center. Very nice. At this time, we're going to bring ourselves towards our mat. So taking a moment here, inhale, reach forward. On your exhale, round yourself back, vertebrae by vertebrae. So remember, your whole back is on the mat. Bend through the knees, bring the knees into your chest. You could start circling the knees in opposite directions, just massaging that lumbar spine, the lower back is an area where we hold a lot of tension. It's just nice to give it a little bit of a release here, as well as getting deeper into the hips. Very nice, circles the opposite directions. Again, keeping your eyes closed if that feels comfortable for you. Beautiful way to keep that connection. Extending the left leg at this time, pull the right knee into the chest. Very nice. Tug it in nice and tight. At this time, let's open that right arm. Gently bring that left and tugging that right knee towards the left. It's a gentle spinal twist here. This time we'll take our half happy baby so that left knee is in and you're bending through the knee, grabbing onto your big toe with your left piece fingers and just pushing your right hip down with your right hand just to make sure it's not lifting off of the mat. Beautiful hip opener. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, bring it back towards the knee. And at this time, let's take our nice spinal twist. So bring that left knee towards the right, looking over the left, just making sure that left shoulder is on the mat. Maybe your gaze follows towards the left, deepening that twisting sensation from the belly button. Breathing into that space. Nice, bring it back to center. Tuck that knee one more time into the chest. And exhale, let's extend it out. Full body stretch, reaching your hands over top of your head as your feet point the opposite direction. And then let's take it. <clears throat> Before we take it to the other side, lifting up into bridge. So both knees raised to the ceiling, palms facing down. Inhale, lift the pelvis. Here I'm just showing another variation where your hands could come over top of your head. If that feels comfortable, just a little bit more of a chest opener. You'll feel that natural engagement of the lower body, of the back side of the body, of the glutes. And when you're ready, gently lower your back onto the mat. Extending that left leg out, bringing that right knee into your chest at this time. And that circles with the ankles as well. Just feeling yourself supported and grounded by the mat. At this time, let's start to open that hip. So really bring that right knee towards the right side of your body. Pressing that left hand into your left hip, making sure it's not lifting. And this time, extending that right foot, taking our happy baby on your exhale, bend the knee, bring it to the right side of the body, as close as it can go towards the mat. And reaching for that big toe, the right foot with two piece fingers. And again, that left hand could be along the side of your body or on that left hip, just keeping it grounded. And breathe here and release any tension in your face or any other body parts. 
Inhale, extend that leg back out. Exhale, let's bring that right knee back into chest and gently guide it towards the left side of your body, opening up that right arm and looking over to your right into our restorative supine twist. Keeping the right shoulder grounded. Eyes are closed, breath is soft. My awareness is inwards. Slowly coming back to center. Again, a nice full body stretch, reaching opposite directions. Bring the knees back up, feet planted. Let's come back into our bridge position, lifting the pelvis off the mat. Hands again can come along the sides, palm facing up or down, or your arms over top of your head. Very nice, slowly lowering it down, bringing the knees into chest, giving yourself a little hug right here. A nice self-love hug. Extending both legs and let's do a little rock and roll up and bring the soles of your feet together here into our Konasana, our butterfly pose, and grabbing onto your feet slapping the wings of your butterfly and just leaning slightly forward so you don't need to go too too far here you already begin to feel that nice stretch along your thighs the outside of your thighs here the outside of your hips and just breathe up and on your exercise cross our legs and shift ourselves into our tabletop position at this time so hips above the knees shoulders above the wrists taking a couple rounds of cat cow getting into that spine such a nice position and transition inhale drop the belly look up tailbone points up exhale round the chin towards the chest feel the separation in the upper back press into the mat with the palms of your hands. Mindful movement. Your movement is our therapy. Movement is love for today's practice. See if you can feel this loving energy with every movement that you're making right now giving your body the movement it needs, the stillness it needs to restore itself. At this time, big step forward with your left foot coming into our lizard pose. So left foot, you can shift it slightly over towards the corner of your mat. Untuck the back foot. If you have any props here, then full permission to use a block or two blocks with your hands if if your psoas is feeling super tight or your hip is really tight. If you can, then untuck the back foot and lift the bottom knee. That right knee is off the mat and see if you can pulse, little pulses forward and back, just getting deeper into that psoas muscle here. Very nice. Drop the back knee. Lifting up at this time into our low lunge. Just making sure that front knee's over top of the front ankle. Sink the pelvis closer towards the mat. Feel that opening sensation in the pelvis in the hip flexor. Little pulses down just to get a little bit deeper. Reaching the arms up toward the sky. And on your exhale, hands frame your front foot. Exhale. Extend that front leg, flex the front foot, half split. Squaring the hips to the front of the mat, finding some stillness here. Just noticing how the hamstrings are feeling today. Giving them some love. Sending that 
loving, healing energy to that part of the body that feels tense and restricted. Nice. We're going to transition now into our supported side plank, bending the front knee, shifting yourself so that you're actually, your head is towards the back of the mat. You're on the right shin. Your right, your left leg is straight and the left foot is grounded. And I'm starting to make circles with my top arm. Nice big circles in the supported side plank where I'm feeling that beautiful stretch along the left side of my body with my left hand creating big circles. Nice. If you want to take Yan Mudra, placing that thumb, just pressing lightly with that index finger. Maybe your gaze comes up and then transitioning back, pivot yourself back to the front of the mat, square your hips to the front, back into our runner's lunge. At this time, big step forward with that right foot into our Uttanasana, standing forward, fold, walk it out, stretching both hamstrings at this time. As you inhale, you halfway lengthen, just micro lifts and exhale. You're trying to get that chest closer towards the thighs. Very nice. Inhale, bend the knees, lower the hips. Exhale, extend through the knees a couple times like this. You're bending as if you wanted to go to Ukatasana, but your fingertips are still maintaining rounded or are on two blocks. Inhale, bend, knees together. Exhale, extend, go deeper into your Uttanasana. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. this time interlacing your fingers elbows pointing out bring those hands behind your neck and allow yourself to hang loose with the upper body it's a beautiful little stretch for your lower back here in your uttanasana and we're also adding a nice stretch for your neck and making a pillow with your arms and your hands just lengthening the neck lengthening the spine bring that blood towards the brain slight, gentle inversion of the body. Releasing at this time, inhale, halfway lengthen, look forward. Exhale, bend both knees, big step back with both feet into our downward facing dog. Very nice, grounding on all four corners, a beautiful stretch to stretch every single inch of your body here out the heart towards the center of the mat, open through the shoulders, palms are grounded, gazes to the back, and slowly lift the heels, bend the knees, and bring yourself into your puppy pose, getting deeper into that chest, into the shoulders, so your hips are now right over top of your knees, your knees are almost mat width apart. Stretching your hands forward. Your forehead could be on a block or on the mat, or if you'd like to go deeper, and this is an easy variation for you, then you can bring your chin towards the mat and look forward. Again, if this is too much for your shoulders, just feel free to bend through the elbows. And also place that forehead on a block. Your back feet are untucked. On your next exhale, just start rolling yourself forward so that you come into Sphinx Pose. Pubic bone is on the mat, back toes are untucked, arms are perpendicular, shoulders over top of the elbows, palms facing down, widen your fingers, inner Sphinx, gaze forward. Your eyes are closed, your eyes, your, your eyes are closed. <laughs> And slowly let's sit back into our child's pose. Again, sometimes I like to just rub my lower back in a child's pose or rub my feet. Just give your body that, that love, that attention, that care. Especially that part of the body that needs it most, that's been hurting maybe. Just ground the forehead. Slowly 
slowly bring your arms over top of your head, slide yourself back into our tabletop position. I'm gonna take it, everything to the other side. Big step forward with your right foot to the outside of your hands, the right corner of the mat into our lizard pose. Now you can either stay here or you can tuck your back foot underneath you, lift your back knee and just start pulsing and you get that deeper sensation in this pose if you do so. But again, it's completely fine if your back knee is on the mat. Just play around here. And again, if you have blocks, then you can also place your hands on the block. And just explore ways to make this pose comfortable. And of course, it's normal if you've been sitting a while that it will be tight and a little bit uncomfortable. Very nice. Inhale, let's rise up into our low lunge with our upper body. Palms are facing each other. Get little pulses down with your pelvis so that you're getting deeper into that psoas, into that hip flexor. Back foot, as you wish, can be flexed for a little toe stretch or untucked. Inhale, reach up. Maybe your gaze comes up at this time. And on your exhale, bring those hands down to the mat and extend the front knee into our Adra Anumanasana, our half split. Flexing the front foot, getting deeper into the calf. Feeling as though your chest is folding over top of that thigh. And here is where you can notice when we are using one side of our body more than the other, which tends to happen. <laughs> Maybe one hand string is tighter than the other. Just become aware of that. We're gonna pivot, do that fun transition here. So we're gonna be coming into our supported side plank. I just made a switch room so I could face you. So you're on your left shin, your right leg extended, and your right foot's grounded. Your right hand is reaching up to the top of the mat, left hand grounds to the mat and adding those nice big circles with that top hand. Again, your mudra, if you'd like to add one. Yan mudra, index, finger is touching lightly the thumb. And maybe your gaze follows the hand and this is just a beautiful way to stay connected to our mat, to our body, to our breath. Nice, let's hold this in stillness. Just opening up with that side body. Feel that nice opening, front side and also on the right side of your body. When you're ready, let's pivot ourselves back to face the front of the mat. Your right foot is forward, left foot is back, back into our runner's lunge at this time. Lift the back knee off the mat and then big step forward with that left foot into our standing foot forward back to our Uttanasana. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, micro half lift. Exhale, we fold and we go deeper. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Micro lifts. Again, you could do this also with your blocks. And this time, collapse clasping the hands, interlacing the fingers behind your back in this variation of Uttanasana, trying to bring those hands over top of your head towards the mat. Feeling that nice extra shoulder stretch here. You could also use a rope or any, any, any long, yeah, rope or scarf if you have no props here, if your shoulders are super tight become creative with their props when you don't have straps. <laughs> Very nice. Start releasing the hands. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Slide the hands along your shin, flatten the back. And on your exhale, start bending through the knees and widening the feet. Heel toe them once or twice. Heels pointing each other, toes apart into our malasana. So hands towards your heart center. Press into the inside of each knee both elbows. So really try to feel as though your tailbone is tucked underneath you, pointing towards the ground, this apana vayu energy going down and opening your crown of the head reaches up towards the sky. 
love this pose. It's so nice for your digestive system. And it really connects that earth and sky energy. Visualizing that nice thread connecting you to the womb of Mother Earth, to the sky, the infinite possibilities of the universe. Bring your hands to heart center, connects you towards your heart. Feelings of unconditional love and gratitude for yourself. Slowly let's come down towards our glutes and come into a wide-legged seated forward fold. So extending yourself along the length of the mat, both feet are in diagonal to each other. Flex those feet, they point up to the sky. I inhale, reach my arms up, full body, upper body stretch. And as I exhale, fold forward, making sure that my glutes are not lifting too much off the mat when I see bones around the mat. So again here, maybe you're on your forearms, maybe you're on two blocks or a block. Maybe you're just on your hands and just slightly bending forward and every, anywhere you are is perfect. Now feel this nice stretch on the inside of your legs, making sure that your knees are pointing up along with your feet. Feel that breath in your navel center. Let's see if you can tuck that navel into the spine, just allowing you to fold a little bit more. Relaxing your face muscles, relaxing your jaw. See where you're holding tension and mindfully let that go. Next inhale, come up with your upper body and to come out of this pose, maybe you want to help your knees with your hands, just bring them off the mat and then scooting yourself forward. And then finding a wall, we're going to take our Viparita Karani, Karani, which is our legs up the wall pose, which is a super nice restorative pose and inversion. So your glutes will come, your seat bones will come onto the wall. You're just going to lift your legs so that the wall is supporting your legs. Opening your arms out to the side, palms facing up. Your body is in this L shape. This is the restorative version of our shoulder stand. You're still getting benefits here from the pose, from stimulating the lymphatic system, getting that blood going the other direction. towards your fire of the navel center and burning those toxicities whatever you don't need anymore supporting our body's natural healing and detoxification process and if you'd like you can take halasana just bring those feet so that they're over top of your head so now your hips are aligned with your neck this can be a lot for some people, so again, take it to your own level. Maybe your feet are on a chair a little bit higher up, and your hands are supporting your back here. Your forearms are parallel, your elbows are parallel, and you can massage your back here. You can pedal out your feet and your knees. It's getting deeper into your hamstring as well. Beautiful for your thyroid glands, for your throat. Very restorative, you'll notice that your exhale is easier than your inhale. Taking another variation if you'd like and bending through the knees, opening your knees a little bit wider, trying to clasp your ears with your knees. This variation. Also a beautiful pose for your digestive system. One of my favorites. <laughs> Slowly lower your back down guiding it with your hands to support your lower back and your spine. If you like, you can open up now into another variation. So many variations you can do with legs up the wall. Here I'm showing a butterfly. So soles of your feet together, knees apart. Same position we did, seated, but here my back is on the mat, so it's even more restorative. And again, my arms can be out wide, palms facing up. If 
And also bring your hands towards your heart, your womb. Forge that deeper connection. Sending that love and feeling that love that's coming from within you. Ready to come out. You can slowly bring those legs towards one side, roll onto a side, and coming back into our seated position, cross legged. The center of your matter, Sukhasana. At this time, we are going to take a Pranayama breathing practice called Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So leaving your left hand on your lap, you can take Yang Mudra. Your right hand is coming into the Shodhan Mudra. Right thumb is going to be blocking the right nostril and your ring finger will be blocking the left nostril. We begin by blocking the right, inhaling through the left nostril up. We hold here. And on the exhale, we block the left nostril, exhaling through the right. Hold. My inhale is through the right nostril, all the way up. I hold. And my exhale is through my left nostril. Hold. That is one round. So you're going up the pyramid, down, and coming back up the same side, and coming down. So do three rounds of this at your own pace. Again, you could pause this video, do it for longer if you'd like. It's a very equalizing and balancing breathing practice. Balancing the left side and the right side of our brain, the sun and moon energy, that feminine, receptive, nurturing, and creative side that we all have and also our structured, ordered, and planning masculine energy. And this is when you can also begin to notice if one side is more open than the other. gold and nobody could take this love away from us because it's not theirs to give it's ours to cultivate ready ready releasing the hands inhale reach your arms up exhale bring them to the side open the chest open yourself up to receive love inhale reach forward Exhale, bring that love towards your heart and spread it out. Inhale, reach forward again. Exhale, bring it in. This beautiful cycle of giving and receiving. Hands towards your heart center at this time. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice. Namaste, friends. Wishing everybody a beautiful rest of your day.